Yo guys, what's up? Carolyn here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and as you already guessed on the title of today's video, it is going to be an 83 rated Ronald Araujo review. So, he does have a very good card, he's 6 foot 2 tall with medium high work rates, right footed primarily with the 2 star skills and a 3 star weak foot and he does go for around 3500 coins. Now I have seen a lot of people saying this here that he is the overpowered centre back, that cheap low rated centre back that is absolutely ridiculous and to be honest with you guys they definitely are not lying. But anyway, you guys can see the alternative positions on the card, he can play right back as well which is pretty useful. Anyway, heading into the attribute details, the pace on the card is going to go up to 72 acceleration with 88 sprint speed. The defending stats look absolutely insane, 85 interceptions, 89 heading accuracy, 86 defensive awareness with 92 stand tackle and slide tackle, going to go up to 95 jumping, 74 stamina, 94 strength and he does have 88 aggression as well. The rest of the stats look decent, he's got 76 short passing which is pretty decent for a centre back and he does have 66 long passing as well. I went for the anchor camp style just to boost the pace, physical and defending, but it does also give him that lengthy body type, well accelerate type that everyone wants this FIFA, so the anchor camp style is definitely the way to go. With that being said, heading into the gameplay highlights, as you see in the background, a crunching tackle on Dembele by Araujo. I did play him at centre back, obviously he is a centre back. Um, didn't really try him out at the right back position, but he would be a little bit slow. But regardless, centre back, of course, is the best position for him, and I do recommend that this is the position that you play him in. Now, heading into the second game, here you guys will see a lot of last ditch tackles, as you guys can see right there. Just lunges in and makes a brilliant tackle, and you guys are gonna see another one here. This guy is about to pull the trigger. Araujo throws himself at Werner and wins the ball back with an excellent tackle, and we can go forward from there and create a goal scoring opportunity. But here again, this guy has the ball, great turn by Sancho, plays it through to Werner and Araujo uses that pace, catches up to him very quickly and we're going to see if we can intercept this pass that's probably going to be played into the box and it is and Araujo on the slide gets to it and puts it out of play. Fantastic interception from him and I'll be honest with you, this card is absolutely ridiculous. This is the pure pace on the card and the length and reach that this card has is absolutely ridiculous. As you guys saw, yet again he steps across, makes a good interception and we can play the ball forward from there. And again in this situation, this guy has the ball with Sancho passing it around and Araujo just steps across, makes a good interception and we can go forward. Speaking of interceptions here you guys will see another one, just again, steps in, makes the interception, plays the pass out to Kessier and we can go forward and we do actually end up scoring from it. Kane dinks it over to Griezmann, cuts it back and Luis Diaz is there with a good finish into the back of the net. But all of that possible because of that interception by Araujo in the first place, a very good interception knowing where the danger is, steps across and wins it back. And here again, this guy has it, not an interception but another brilliant last ditch tackle. You guys will see a lot of clips in this game because the defending masterclass that he put up was absolutely ridiculous. As you guys see here, he's not really that huge massive centre back that is going to body everyone off the ball. Of course he is very strong but he is mainly that lanky type of guy that's going to just nick the ball in ahead of other players. As you see Konate fails to do that, it does lag. But Araujo gets in there and wins the ball back. Like I was saying, he's not that massive centre back, so he can change direction pretty quickly if you do manage to get past him. But getting past him is a very difficult task. As you guys see here, he puts in a fantastic tackle. And this guy just um, ends up getting the ball back. But regardless, we're going to try and come out here with Araujo. And he wins the ball back again, puts in a good block. And we do end up, unfortunately, needing to defend another 100 passes from that guy. But regardless, here. Yeah, he, like I mentioned, he isn't the strongest of defenders, not the biggest of defenders, sorry, but he is still pretty strong. He's able to run past Rafinha, push him off the ball, win it back and make that pass into Kessier and we can go forward. And here again, we have the ball, we lose it and Araujo actually has to defend, well, with Rhys James, a 3 on 2. And he does so very, very well, just jockeying between the space between the two strikers and he is able to confuse the guy. And when the time comes, he lunges in and puts in a very, very good tackle to win the ball back. We go forward from there, but unfortunately, the finisher from Luis Diaz is over the bar. 
But like I was saying with Araujo, he is a very good centre back and honestly in my opinion, he might just be the Kimpimbe of this year. As you guys see here, just switch to him, he runs out so quickly, gets out to his man very fast and he wins the ball back. And here, speaking of winning the ball back, we win it back with Luis Diaz. Almost a goal scoring opportunity but from a tight position, from a tough angle, the keeper makes a save. I didn't mention that he can play right back, so here just testing out his skills at right back position kind of, I guess. Um, just overruns it, didn't register the cross for some reason, but regardless, you guys can see he's clearly able to drive forward with the ball after winning him back and can actually go and create a chance if you do use that driving ability that he does have. Moving on to the next clip, Araujo gets it and a pretty good pass through the midfield. Just put that clip in there to showcase his passing ability. I have the needle pass there through a few players actually. Gets it into Lamar and you can create a chance from there. But regardless, he is a defender. Defending is what he does. It's in his blood, it's in his veins. And again, he rushes out, wins the ball back and intercepts that attack and stops that attack actually. And we are able to come away with the win. So guys, with that being said, it is time to review the card and I actually ended up playing 7 games with him, unfortunately no goals or no assists, you're not really expecting any, he's a centre back, but regardless he is still a very very good card. Now I'm going to go through the attribute details and rank each category out of 10 the pace. This guy is very fast, like I mentioned with the anchor chem style, he does have the lengthy accelerate type and you can clearly feel it in game. He's so fast, easily able to catch up to most attackers and honestly the 88 sprint speed is a huge plus on the card as well that he does get with the anchor cam style. So for pace it is very good, he is pretty fast and he is obviously very strong as well, easily able to win the ball back off players if they are running through on goals. So for pace I'm gonna go ahead and give him a 7, actually an 8.2 out of 10 sorry. An 8.2 out of 10 for pace does seem about right. The passing while well, the shooting on the card, I didn't really get to shoot with him, so that doesn't matter. The passing on the card is somewhat decent. The long passing and the short passing alike are kind of decent on the card. Just those little dinked balls over the top to his CDM and the quick passes into midfield or to his left back or right back are pretty good. So for passing, a 7 out of 10 is not great, but it's not bad. Dribbling on the card, this guy moves kind of quickly on and off the ball. Despite him having that really, really low agility and balance, he is able to turn through and you can use his strength and speed just to help wriggle out of tight situations. But I don't recommend it. Dribbling, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 6.5 out of 10. Defending, however, is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.7 out of 10 for defending. Do you guys saw the tackles he was putting in? Absolutely world class. And same with the physical, an 8.7 out of 10. This guy is so strong and so good at defending. The speed that he has also really helps him to get out to players and put in those slide tackles and those stand tackles. So honestly, defending and physical are absolutely ridiculous. With that being said, is this card worth the coins? He is so cheap. He is so, so cheap. I honestly recommend you getting this card for your team. If you can put him in, obviously the Barca links are kind of limited this year, but there is Usman Dembele. Of course, he is very expensive at the moment, but when he dies down a little bit, you could get him to link Araujo up in your team. And there is also the Uruguayan links from the Liga like Valverde who obviously is also very expensive but regardless he is a link to Araujo nonetheless. Now obviously best position for this card would be a centre back, best camp style would be an anchor like I had said it does change his accelerate type to lengthy but besides that just in general it is the best camp style for this card. With that being said I do bring it into the video, if you liked it smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.